Hey fam, it is your girl, V1 and the Only Spicy, and I am back today with another pick a card reading. I hope everyone is feeling well. I hope that you all enjoyed your weekend and that your week is going well thus far. I feel blessed, I'm grateful, and I'm definitely excited to be doing another reading for you all today. So if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, I definitely want to give you all a special welcome back. And I just want to thank y'all, show y'all my gratitude and appreciation for just everything that you do to engage with this channel. Every little thing that y'all do definitely helps it grow. So I definitely appreciate it. And I look forward to being consistent and posting even more content that you all enjoy. So thank you. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that button. Join the fam today because I promise you will love it here. And yeah. So as you've already seen, the question that we're asking Spirit today is what is powerful about you or like what are the powerful aspects about you? Still figuring out how I'm going <laughs> to put it in the um, in the thumbnail or in the title of the reading. But yeah, we're talking about you and the powerful aspects about, you know, who you are and even within your energy. So I'm excited about this reading. I feel like it's good to, you know, bring the focus back on us and what we have going on because you know we still got to live life after we click out of these readings so <laughs> within that being said if you are new to pick a card and you don't really know how this reading goes you can pause the video right now if you need to and take a look at the three pile options that you have in front of you essentially you're going to choose the pile or the piles that you would like to listen to whether it's based off of the artwork on the back of the tarot deck or even by the crystal so for pile one we have the radiant wilds tarot deck with the citrine crystal pile two we have the stardust tarot deck with the pyrite crystal and then for pile three we have the muse tarot deck with the clear crystal quartz geode so you can pause the video right now if you need to go to the description box scroll down to the timestamps and click the timestamp that correlates with the pile or the piles that you have chosen. And I will see you at your reading. All right, my pile one people. If you chose the Radiant Wilds tarot deck with the Citrine Crystal, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading for today. Um, but first and foremost, I definitely want to say welcome again to all the new viewers. And I want to give a special welcome back to all of my lovely returning subscribers. Just thanking y'all for everything you do to engage with this channel and to help it grow. I look forward to being consistent, posting more content and just being me. Like that's really all I can do. And I'm just thankful that you all really connect with me. Um, and it's just, <laughs> I try my best to just be as sensitive, to be non-judgmental, to also be humble, but to be entertaining as well <laughs> as I'm doing these readings because I think that we should enjoy ourselves while we are, you know, healing and getting our lives together. I still think it should be an enjoyable process, even though life can be hard. So I try my best to just be as positive, optimistic, as fun and energetic as I can be. So I hope y'all feel where I'm coming from. So within that being said, y'all, thank you. If you have not subscribed, go ahead click that button, join the fam because I promise you will love it here and make sure you check out the links in the description box as well. There's links there to book a personal reading with me. You can donate to this channel. There's multiple ways you could do so, but for your convenience, the super thanks button is enabled directly beneath this video if you would like to donate through this platform. Um, you can also check me out on Instagram if you like to give me a follow over there. Or you can also check out my Etsy store where I post my line of 3D and hand-painted gel press on nails. So click around, get nosy, <laughs> see what I'm up to around the web. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started because the question that we're asking Spirit today, pile one, is like, what is powerful about you? Like, what about you is powerful? Um, Y'all know I'm going to figure out how, how I phrase the question, but we're talking about the powerful aspects of you, your energy, who you are. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited. So we have Justice. Okay, Judge Judy. <laughs> okay, Judge. We also have the Page of Wands. The page of wands. This card wants to come out. We also have the eight of swords. 
I like this energy because I feel like your power right now is within your own responsibility. Like, it's within the responsibility that you have towards yourself. Like, which is really nice. It's like you see yourself as you deserve the best. You deserve your life to move in a good, healthy direction. Like, you deserve good things. Like, you just have like a I deserve type of mentality. And it's like, now you're pushing the boundaries and the barriers that have been either imposed by other people or even imposed by yourself. So you just, it's like you have this strength now where you're just like, I deserve good things. I deserve great things. Like, and I need to move things out of the way that's blocking my way to me receiving that. So I wonder what what happened to you to get you into this like attitude but it's a very like I guess I could say like hyper vigilant attitude like I'm not gonna be held back anymore like that type of vibe that you have going on like nothing's holding me back type of energy like I'm not being held back no more yeah with the eight of cups yeah, even self-imposed things like doubts, limiting beliefs, things that, that you have thoughts, okay? Now you're just like, I I'm not holding myself back from this anymore. Yeah, with the tower, with the ace of pentacles, you're doing yourself, you're doing right by yourself, you know? You know how in life it's like you can wait on other people, even if other people did us wrong, it's like you can you can either sit there and wait on them to fix it to make it better you could sit on them and wait for them to apologize or to validate your feelings or you could just do it yourself okay you're a very diy person it's like you're not gonna wait for someone to give you something for someone to promise you something like and not not come through i feel like you dealt with that okay broken promises um i don't want to say unrealistic expectations but they very much could have been realistic but <laughs> still no movement you know, still no movement. Um, what I also heard was like a shot in the dark. I don't know, like a shot in the dark. But it seems as though you all are doing right by yourself. And that's a very powerful thing. You're not waiting on someone to do right by you. It's like you're doing it for yourself. And I feel like because you bring, you brought the focus back onto yourself, you can bring the focus back onto like you know, as far as like your own self-imposed limitations, okay? So you all could have been dealing with a very limited mindset and there could still be some things that you, some thoughts that you think that could be hindering you, but you're like, nah, I got to break through this, you know? I have to get right with myself. So, you know, you you lovingly call yourself to the carpet, if that makes sense. Like, it seemed like you're a very self-aware person you have empathy and compassion for yourself, but you also don't take it easy. You know that if something needs to change within your life, then it's on you to make that change. You can't wait for someone else to do it for you. So you kind of savage here. You kind of savage here. Like, I feel like a lot of the changes that occur in your life are because you, a lot of the changes that occur in your life is because you literally don't stop. Like you don't stop, you're very perseverant um, and you enact a lot of the changes that happen in your life. And it's all enacted because of your sense of dissatisfaction. <laughs> Let me say that, your sense of dissatisfaction. Like, so you have to do right by yourself. You know that if you don't feel happy, something has to change. Like if I don't feel good about this, something has to change and I need to explore why. So it's just, it, there's always a twist and turn in your life. That's all I can say. There's always a twist and turn, but I feel like you're going through a process of where you are refining yourself. And here's this nine of wands that pop up here with this hypervigilance. It's like, you must do right by yourself because maybe you've experienced a life where it's like being done wrong by other people, especially being in this nine of wands energy, like clearly being done wrong, be experiencing pain, experiencing hurt, trauma. And it's just like, well, I got to do right by myself. Like I got to do right for me. 
Like, because who's going to do it for me? So you have that type of attitude right now where it's like you're not waiting on someone else to do anything for you. Like, <laughs> you're, you're doing it for yourself. Yeah, you're doing it for yourself. Like, you're very driven and you're very motivated. And all of this really is because it's like, not to say that, oh, you're not grateful with life, but I feel like you're not satisfied. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that because I feel like we all want something in life. You know, so it makes no sense to deprive ourselves of like, okay, the things that we that we actually want, like the good things, you know, the good things, the good things. I just want to say that it's like not depriving yourself of a good thing. Maybe it is that you're supposed to experience more. And so like when you experience that dissatisfaction, it's like your spirit telling you like, no, there's more out here. Okay. You don't have to settle for this. You don't have to settle for less. You don't have to settle for breadcrumbs. So it's like you bring things back into balance for yourself. Okay. You're sticking to the truth and authenticity of who you are. So you're being very honest with yourself. And I'm not saying like, oh, you're someone who treats yourself bad, but you get real with yourself. And this is good. Like having a certain level of self-awareness and knowing like when you're coming up short, when you're coming up light, like and having the ability to address things that are potentially holding you back. Because when you address that, it's like there's opportunities, there's opportunity there. Like you can see, you have a better view of who you are, like if that makes sense. And when you have a better idea of who you are, it's like, you know what's for you and what's not for you. So there's a real benefit of knowing who you are, okay? You know what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do. You can adjust your boundaries accordingly, okay? You can adjust them accordingly. But yeah, your life is definitely driven by your sense of satisfaction and what feels right to you with the nine of cups. Like, it's driven by you know, success is driven by wish fulfillment, okay? It's driven by that, by comfort. So you want more out of life. And it's like, you, even if you have to get out of your own way to go get this, it's like, this was what feels right to you. So a lot of your life, like, and what you do, like, it's just based off of what feels good to me. Like, and that's not a bad thing because I feel like, you're only trying to bring things, you're only trying to make things make sense for your life. Like you're only trying to stick to the truth and authentic authenticity of who you are. Like you're only trying to take responsibility for who you are and not wait on other people to do things for you. Like, I just feel like you always, like I said, it's like you're always experiencing some major changes in your life, but there's always a blessing on the other side of it. So you're not afraid to stick through the storm. You're not afraid to stick through the storm. And when you stick through the storm, you, you receive your blessing on the other side of it. So that's really nice. That's definitely nice. Like, yeah, with the moon, it's like you're not afraid to address the dark. Okay? <laughs> I just saw that show the um the intro to are you afraid of the dark <laughs> i don't know if y'all used to watch that show i used to but it's like no you're not afraid of the dark you're not and oftentimes i feel like you know that you got i mean some people make it seem like it's such a bad thing to like go after what you want in this world they feel like oh what about other people and it's like but you gotta have compassion enough for yourself to give yourself what you feel like you want and deserve and need like so it's like, yeah, you can focus on dealing with other people, but it's like, what about you? Like, are you going to be happy? And I just feel like your happiness means a lot to you. Like, but yeah, yeah. What's very powerful about you is it's like your own sense of self-awareness and your diligence to making things make sense for your life. Like you don't hold yourself back. You, you understand that you have to take responsibility for yourself, for your own life. Like you can't put it in no one else's hands. Which is really nice because no one can no one can push you here and no one can push you there because you know who you are. Like there's just a real I don't know, let me know if y'all understand what I'm saying. Like there really is a benefit in knowing who you are, like knowing what suits you and knowing what doesn't. But I just feel like you all are just in a really explorative in a very is it, is, is it explorative? You're in a very adventurous part of your life right now where you're just thinking about the possibilities. And because you're leaning into the possibilities, it's like you're experiencing a lot of 
changes like but it's nice because this is your own individual walk in your life and you're motivated by what truly makes you happy it's like your own pursuit of happiness and it's no one else's responsibility to do this for you like you're a hundred percent aware that your life is on you so this is nice like very driven you know you have a lot of will you have motivation here you know you're diligent you're persevering you're honest you know you you know what doesn't work for you and you're willing to go through the storm so that you can come out on the other side um which is really nice like you don't allow things to keep you stuck or to keep you limited to hold you back um yeah like this is nice i feel like all you want is your own personal sense of happiness and feeling success like and success is we all gonna look at it differently like what somebody finds to be successful might be different but it's like what is person what does it personally mean for you that's all you care about like okay so how do other people experience this like this power that's within you, like how do other people experience it? How do they perceive of it? We have blossoming abundance. This is nice. This is nice. It's like things are coming together for you. Things are making sense for you. We have some growth here, okay? We have some growth. We have some flowers that have started to spring up. You know, we have a couple birds flying around the area, you know? So yeah, like things are picking up for you and things are making sense. People are starting to see like, why it is that you are being this way like why are you being so motivated why are you in the pursuit of your happiness like and it, they starting to see it it's, it's starting to make sense for other people and oftentimes it's like when we go off on our individual journeys and paths it's like when other people are not doing that for themselves those are the most nosiest people because they want to see what's going on with you and it's like it's not going to make sense <laughs> you know because it, it's it's barely making sense to you the person that's on the journey it's like it's not gonna make sense for other people you know but I feel like now it's starting to make sense and they're starting to see why it is that you do what you do or why it is that you've taken this immense sense of responsibility over your life like why you have your life in your hands like it's like your it's like your ability your your choosing choosing your free will like choosing to really bask in that and what that means like you understanding that you have the freedom of choice like even here with this eight of swords energy it's like the eight of swords energy could be a very limiting energy but you see this woman on a car is like nothing is really holding her back okay it looks like her feet is in quicksand but there's a lot of energy here when it comes to you where it's like the the cherry we have the cherry here like for moving energy we even have the eight of cups so it's like what is that you know what i'm saying you clearly have gotten over yourself okay <laughs> you've gotten over yourself which is nice so not even your own fears or be limiting beliefs can hold you back like so yeah and then for you all, we also have um, the appreciation card here as well, um, which is nice. I feel like you all are definitely becoming very self-sufficient, self um, very free type of individuals, like free spirits. Um, but I also feel like for others, they're slowly but surely starting to appreciate your journey because they see what you are developing into. Um how you're bringing back your own sense of justice. Maybe there's, like like I said, there could have been a particular way that you were born, which you were raised and programmed. You could have had these limiting beliefs or things that held you back. Or even what I heard was just like you trying to place yourself in certain relationships or place yourself with certain people. And it's like, ain't do nothing for you. So you had to think back to what can I do for myself? Like, ain't do nothing positive for you, but put you in a place to where, okay, I got to focus on me. 
So that's the hard thing about it is understanding that like, yo, the things we went through, no matter how traumatic, no matter how painful it is, like it really, it, at the end of the day, it really teaches you to like, what am I looking for outside? And can I just look for it and find it within myself? Cause it's not working, you know, it's not working. So I like that you're doing something that's working for you. And it's finally making sense to the other people that's around you. It's finally making sense. Um, let's see. What else? Um, okay, let me get y'all a card from here. Get y'all another powerful characteristic about yourself. Another powerful characteristic. We had tenacity. Yeah, you're not stopping. Like, you're not giving up. Um, that's pretty much what this card, what be, someone being tenacious is is someone who like what like what glass ceilings what boundaries what barriers are in the way and how can i break them like you already have done it within yourself you know you've gotten over yourself <laughs> and your pursuit of happiness like any moments and where you felt very stuck or stagnant very limited like you couldn't move like you couldn't do anything like you've had to get over yourself so you're not really playing games when it comes to even other people but yeah, like you definitely are on a pursuit of happiness and you're literally not going to stop until you receive what it is that you want. Um, a lot of the things that you want are, there are things, oh yeah, a lot of what you're doing as well is like you're doing a lot of subconscious work. So you could definitely be changing your mindset. Like I said, like you're leaning into what you feel like you deserve. You deserve, like that's the type of attitude that you have, like very hyper vigilant in getting what you want that's all i can say i'm sorry if y'all feel like i'm repeating what i'm saying but it's a good attitude to be in like very unstoppable very unstoppable but let's see this strength if you keep continue to keep leaning into this strength how are you going to feel Okay, so if you keep leaning into this, all right, potential, as you can see here, this looks like a volcano, like about to erupt or something. So there's clearly a lot for you to do out here. And when I see this potential card, it makes me think about the fool as well. So it's like, you're used to changes in your life, but I feel like this next cycle that you're stepping into in your life, like you're going to be very excited, enthusiastic and optimistic about it. I just feel like you're leaning into your own power and what you can do for yourself. Like, and this is nice because it puts you in a very self-sufficient uh, place, especially here when I see this appreciation card, it makes me think about the nine of pentacles. It's like, everything is within you whatever you want to create and cultivate is within you like you don't have to go through anybody else you don't need the validation from anybody else you don't need to be affirmed by anybody else like because you already know that it's like when you try to put yourself with people you try to put yourself with people you try to gain a specific type of favor from people like what is it doing you can just give yourself that favor like you don't need it to <laughs> you, don't, you don't need anything from nobody else like and yeah we should have meaningful connections with people but this is your own this is your own personal journey so you can still have connections with people but we all on our own individual journeys like it's nothing wrong with that but yeah this is nice like i feel like you'll be surprised at the things that even you create like but it's really your dissatisfaction that's pushing you um that's pushing you forward like it really is like you put your happiness first and i feel like a lot of people in this world don't put their happiness first um and if we all deserve to we all deserve to put our happiness first like okay so this is the hidden the oracle of the hidden worlds i'm just trying to get one card so we can see what this power is connected to what is this power connected to i don't really use these cards as much i might just have to like split the deck Ooh, you all have this card here when i split the deck 
full moon temple celebration peak transcendent moment this is really nice like this is really nice. Like, I'm just so happy for y'all. I'm so proud of you for putting yourself first, um, for bringing yourself the justice, the clarity, the healing, the honesty, the integrity, the truth that you need for yourself and no longer looking to other people for that thing because it's like, it seems as though you all are meant to just even be in this nine of cups energy right here. It's like you want your happiness. You want your wish fulfillment. You want your comfort. You want your status. You want to, you know, you want your success. Like it definitely is here and it's meant for you to be celebrated. You definitely are at a peak and even a transcendent moment within your life. Like you're just closing up one cycle and moving into another. And it's like just so much potential here for you to do to just find a success that you really truly want and whatever it is that you want because the nine of cups could be different things okay it's different things but when i look at that card it's all about like me someone having it together like you got it <laughs> you got it together holistically like you have a good holistic life like all by yourself like all on your own so this is really nice like I'm definitely excited for y'all like and just keep being how you're being because it's definitely changing your life like it's changing your life in a positive way so this is good you're literally not stopping until you get what you want like <laughs> it's like why wait for someone else to give me what I want I can just give it to myself like it's that type of attitude so that's nice that's very powerful like you just taking accountability for your life um responsibility for your life direction so i like this for y'all um yeah this is amazing i hope y'all resonated with this pile like comment subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one all right my pal two people if you chose the stardust tarot with the pyrite crystal I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading for today. But first and foremost, I definitely just want to say welcome to all of the new viewers. I also want to give a special returning welcome back to all of my lovely subscribers. I just want to tell y'all that I'm so appreciative, grateful, and thankful for you all just consistently tapping into this channel and engaging with me. I look forward to putting out more amazing readings, <laughs> more amazing content that you all enjoy. And just, you know, looking forward to just continuing to be myself because um, I realize like that's the best way to connect with others. It's like when I'm just authentically being me. Um, so <laughs> I don't have to be anyone else but me. So I'm definitely just happy that I'm able to do that in this space. And I just look forward to, you know, just growing so thank y'all i appreciate y'all y'all could be anywhere but y'all are here with me so i don't take it um you know lightly like, i really do appreciate your time and your energy so thank y'all definitely if you have not subscribed go ahead and click that button join the fam today because i promise you will love it here and um you can also check out the links in the description box as well i have links there to book a personal reading with me you can also donate to this channel in you know, multiple ways, but for your convenience, the super thanks button is enabled directly beneath this video. If you would like to donate through this platform, you can also give me a follow on Instagram if you're active over there. And you can check out my Etsy store where I post my line of 3D and hand painted gel press on nails. But y'all, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead. Okay. Pile two, we're tapping into the powerful aspects about you and your energy. Um, and we're just highlighting that in this video, okay? That's what we're doing. So, spirit, spirit, let's tap into, let's tap into pile two, okay? And let's see what's going on. Pile two. also have the sun we 
We also have, we have the Three of Cups within the reverse. We have the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Yo, y'all, I know what's powerful. I know what's powerful, like, I know what it is. I know what it is. Y'all got the, the Hermit and you got the, the King of Swords. Yo, you really don't care. Like, you don't care in how... You don't care how other people view you. Like, you don't. You don't care. All you care about is what's important to you. Like, yeah, you don't give a... I guess that's where your power comes from. It's like your ability to not give a F, okay? <laughs> your ability to not give a F. Like, <laughs> yo... Yo, I feel bad for people that used to be your friend because it's like you, <laughs> I guess people who, I I don't know if I can feel bad for them. I don't know, but I don't know. I kind of felt bad because I'm just like, yo, I feel bad for, for people that oppose you, people that you used to be friends with, that you don't find any commonality with, you know, people that you used to engage with and be in relationships with, like... I feel bad for those people because when they get cut off, they get cut off, okay? Sis, sir, your power comes from your cutoff game, okay? It's very strong. <laughs> your cutoff game is very strong. If y'all don't know what I mean by cutoff game, it means like if something is not contributing to your happiness, like you gotta let it go. Like you gotta let it go. But for you all, it's very powerful in being able to resist and walk away from people. Yeah. Even with the the devil came up here, the devil in reverse. Yeah, you have the ability to resist and to walk away from people, to walk away from entanglements. Um things that people might be stuck in for years. It's like you have the ability to break yourself out of it. Because it all comes down to how you feel. And if you don't feel good in a specific place, it's kind of like, it's kind of like some, it's some similarities to Pile 1, but not really. Um, it's some similarities, but not really. I think this is about you being in the thick of it. So like if you find yourself in, you know, some issues or some problems with others, um, you have no you have no hesitation like it's no hesitation to cut things out of your life that don't serve you like what i just heard was i walk alone i walk alone so maybe you all feel like you walk you know you walk alone like maybe that's something that you tell yourself like you know to get get yourself out of these connect out of connections with people that might be based in codependency attachment and bondage you know, to remove yourself from entanglements. You're very smart. That's a that's a powerful thing about you as well. It's like you're very smart in how you navigate your life, how you navigate um, the world, how you navigate relationships. Like you're very smart when it comes to that. You know, you will remove yourself at the slightest, <laughs> at the slightest uh, hint of insincerity, of deception, of lies, like, you know, someone not living up to, uh, is someone not being integritous? Like, you can suss that out. I think it's just because you're very smart, so you logically can think about things. Like, but you still in your heart space as well. But I feel like it's it's more so within you logically thinking. Okay, how how do I feel? Like, I see what's going on. I see what I'm observing. How does that make me feel? And it's not to say like, oh is anything bad with like internalizing some things but I feel like when it comes to relationships it's like you can't you're not going to be dumb like you're not going to be stupid you want to think about what's going on and how it affects you and I think that's a very mature thing to do and you actually will you actually will it's like it's a cause and effect thing for you like it's a cause and effect like you actually will deliver the consequences 
um, appropriately, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that's why I'm like, I feel bad for people that used to be friends with you. I feel bad for people that crossed you. I, I feel bad because once you're done, you're done. Like, once you're done, you're done. And I feel like you you lean into, you know, you know relationships breaking up anyway. Because I feel like you lean into these things. Yeah, you lean into these things because you want to be happy. Like, not only being happy, because you're, you're good by yourself, okay? You're happy. I feel like you're someone who likes your alone time. You're someone who can be alone. Like, most people can't. Most people can't be alone. They feel like they have to be attached to someone, but you do find, a, you know, a sense of happiness in your own personal alone time, okay? It's within your alone time that I feel like you have the space and time to think. Um, you have the time to make choices. You can change your mind if you want to. Like, you give yourself the the time and space to be on your own, and that's important to be able to think. And to also be able to observe what it is that you are experiencing and to take a step back. Some people might not trust that because they just don't know what decision that you're going to make from that place. So I think that you sometimes deal with people being clingy or they just want to know, like, are we still good? Are we still cool? Are we still friends? Are we still in a relationship? Are we still like... So you could experience a lot of that that energy where it's like people just want to know because it's like when you go into your place of alone time and hiding, it's like, what are you going to like, what is going to be the conclusion of that time spent alone? So some people may not trust it, but hey, I feel bad for those people that try to get over on you or, you know, you'd be surprised there was a lot of enemies and opposition that's in your inner circle that just because you have had the ability to observe what's going on, you're able to cut it out of your life because you know it's just causing you drama and it's not contributing to your own personal sense of happiness. So yeah, you would definitely be surprised. Like, But yeah, for the most part, you're very, your cutoff game is very powerful and strong. It's like, if this does not apply to you, if it's dramatic, if it's not a healthy situation, it has to go. Because I feel like that's all you have the capacity for in your life right now is healthiness. Like, and you're trying to restore a certain level of control and order back to your life, you know? So you could have been that person that didn't have strong boundaries with meeting people. You know, you could have been that person that welcome new connections with people you know you welcome people in your life but I feel like now you are okay with tearing things down if it don't make sense like <laughs> with the tower card it's like you're completely okay with 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 this you know you probably been breaking up with a lot of people too like you've been breaking up with a lot of people or just removing people out of your life like or just understanding that the way in which you were, it just is not going to work anymore. So the best thing for you to do is to be ahead, to be ahead of it. And I don't want to say like, oh, you ruined good relationships for you. That's not what's coming up here. It's like the relationships are relationships that you have inappropriately given to, okay? With the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, it's like you've inappropriately given to these relationships that don't actually serve your highest good and when i say inappropriately it's like yeah you've been doing more than you were supposed to i don't know if this was to like find favor with other people to get people to like you um or just wanting to develop relationships it's like i can understand you just wanting to develop relationships but you know, I can understand that you wanted to have meaningful relationships in your life, but I just feel like you learned on the back end. You learned on the back end with some of these folks. Like, like <laughs> what I just heard was we are not the same. So you you understood that on the back end when it's come to these when it's come to these connections. Also with the strength in reverse, yeah, I don't think it's it's like disempowering to be in a connection that you are giving to and it's like you're not getting anything back in return. 
So these could have been relationships that just lacked compassion. They lacked love. It lacked empathy. Um, so that's probably why you're cut off game strong right now. It's like at the end, at any hints, at any sense of it's a problem. It's something wrong here. It's like you're going to cut it off. Like you're not thinking too much about how you feel in a sense of like, oh, this connection, I feel some type of way with this person not in my life. It's like, how do you feel first and foremost? How is this going on? And how this go how does this going on affect you? That's what you're thinking about. And that's where you make your move and realize, okay, yeah, you gotta go. Time is up. Yeah, other people look at it as very cutthroat or they may not trust you or trust your relationship or, you know, what I also heard was runner track star. So <laughs> they probably feel like uh, my relationship with this person is going to be fleeting. I don't know. It's some type of maybe this is something that will trigger other people's abandonment wounds. So I feel like you even experience like other people leaving you, like you experience maybe a lot of breakups, it seems, or like relationships that just don't stay for a long time. They're just fleeting. But I'm not mad. Like you got cut off. You got cut off things that just don't work for you. Like, yeah, you could experience a lot of endings with this Ten of Swords, a lot of endings with people. What I heard was catastrophic endings, but I feel like it's even sudden endings. And it's not to say that you're not a human being and you don't feel, you don't feel like pain or you don't feel, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you're some robotic person and you don't have emotions, but I just feel like, what do you care about first? Is like, do you care about your own internal sense of happiness or are you caring about, you know, just the happiness with another person, even when you know that it's not right for you, or even when you know a specific, yeah, relationship isn't right, a specific connection isn't right, it's like, you're gonna cut it off. And that's very strong because I feel like even in situations where the devil energy is there in relationships, it's like, you know it's so bad, you know it's so wrong, but you still wanna keep engaging in it, but you know it's so bad. And it's like, for you, it's like you want healthy and you're going about this in a very pragmatic way. It's like sticking to the facts, <laughs> you know, sticking to the facts. And oftentimes I feel like in relationships, it's like people want people to be carried away. I think you've been carried away before. Hence is why, you know, I can't continue to go about this the same way. I feel like you look forward to things ending. Like you look forward to relationships stopping, especially if it's not the right thing for you. I feel like you welcome in the changes. Like you could be someone that like will act spirit and be like, what's not for me? Just remove it from my life right now. Like you're not afraid to do that because honestly, when you act spirit to do that, when you ask the divine to do it, it's like, are you prepared to see what is removed from your life? I know this message came up in a previous reading. It's like, are you really prepared to see what happens? And I think you are. <laughs> I think you are. Where says I feel like a lot of people would be afraid to do that. So you're not afraid to remove those things from your life or to ask. Yeah, it's just like you're in a you're in an isolated and withdrawn place right now. Like you're focused on you. It's not to say that you don't welcome other relationships in, but you find a lot of joy and happiness from within from within you right now, from your inner world. And that's good. That's good. And that's probably why you just don't want outside people to affect you. So you're not afraid to cut them off. But your cutoff game is very strong and powerful. That's all I want to say. Yeah, you prefer to be very independent right now. To have your own belief system. like, And you enjoy your freedom. That's very powerful. So I think that's what goes into your cutoff game being so strong. But yeah, you just want to, you don't want negativity. It's like, what is here to help me grow? Like, that's what you're going to be focused on. Like, what is here that I feel happy and feel excited about? That's what you're going to be focused on, focused on. Not really, you know, unnecessary people and connections. Um, but yeah, you're very decisive. I feel like once you decide to be done with somebody, you're done with them. <laughs> and you're okay with it like 
all right your cutoff game being so strong and so powerful how does this affect other people like how do other people perceive of this all right you all got the walking away card <laughs> You got the walking away card. So yeah, like that. This is it's like an air of I don't know, it's like an air of like mistrust that people have where it's like you're unpredictable. So they they know like they don't see it coming. I feel like it's unexpected to them. They don't really see it coming. I think that people underestimate you as well. Um, they underestimate your ability to do this. Like I I just it just makes me th I just have a feeling that like when you let go of people they're so shocked like they just couldn't believe that th this is happening so yeah um what I just heard was you give them your back to kiss okay or they can kiss you <laughs> kiss your insert the blank like you give them you give them back to kiss like pretty much so yeah, they can expect this from you. They can expect that you're going to walk away. Like, this is how it affects other people. Like, so that's why I'm just like, you might be triggering people's abandonment wounds. Um, but the fact of the matter is, it's like, if you're, if they're not going to treat you right, if they're going to be negative, not good connections for you to have, and you're giving to these things, like, at a certain point in time, you have to have a wake up call with yourself, like, and where you're just like, wow, I'm really not getting what I deserve out of this connection or out of this relationship. Like, wow. Like, so you don't let it overcome you. You don't let it overtake you. Like, you just become empowered and you just leave it and cut it off where it's at. Instead of just living with it and being like, I'm in an unfulfilling relationship or an unfulfilling connection or relation or, um, yeah, friendship with someone. You're just like, I'm just going to walk away because... It's gonna, it's, it's, that's an empowering and it's a bold step, you know, but I have to walk away for my own sense of happiness. I don't have to stay here. So yeah, that's how it impacts other people. They know you're leaving. <laughs> they know you give them the, the deuces, <laughs> the deuces and tell them bye-bye. Like, okay. This one wants to come out. And we also have the thinking man. The thinking man as well. So I guess you would inspire, you know, if you are, um, I mean, the king of swords is here, you know, backing up the thinking man. Um, so don't get too caught up. <laughs> don't get too caught up if you um, identify with being more feminine. Like, just let's just put here the thinking person. But nah, the thinking man too, I just feel like, people understand I guess they may not accept what it is that you're doing but I feel like they have to understand how you move I just think you're a very logical and practical person um you're just someone who analyzes and observes the situation so that's why I do kind of pick it up that people will underestimate you but after it's done it's done and they realize that like wow you actually are a smart and calculated person especially because the three of cups will talk a lot about like gossip, gossip and cattiness and, you know, uh, all over deception. This is like having a snake as a friend or an enemy as a, as a partner or, you know, it's like, it could be mad stuff that's going on beneath the scenes that you don't even pick up on, you know, like mad things that's going on in secret, but your ability to cut things off and walk away, like, it makes it seem as you're one step ahead, even if you're not, even if there was a lot going on behind your back, a lot of negativity. It's like, it's, it makes it seem as though you're one step ahead. So shout out to your intelligence and your ability to look at things factually. That has definitely helped you to get out of a, a lot of situations because it's very easy. Like, I feel like for y'all, it's simple as ABC. It's like, if I'm not happy here, if, I'm not in a reciprocal relationship. If things are not working, then I need to go. You know, it's like things are just as simple. It's simple for you. You don't make it complicated. Mm. 
Yeah, like you're just someone who you pay attention, like you actually observe. So that's why I feel like people do underestimate you because they don't think you're watching, but you're watching. <laughs> like they don't think you're watching, but you are. They don't think you're being thoughtful about what's going on. They don't think you're observing. You're observing. Okay. Yeah, just being very disciplined, being very focused in your thinking. That's nice. So you be paying attention, okay? <laughs> and I think that it shocks and it underestimates people after the fact. Because they're like, dang. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I was paying attention. Now you can't keep trying to get over and do whatever you thought you was doing. Sorry, y'all. Somebody started calling me on my other phone. All right. So, this is the Hip Hop Queens deck. We're going to get another characteristic about you that relates to this power. Huh? Sorry, y'all. I had some cards fall out. I just want, I just want one. I just want one. Okay, y'all, we have attitude. Okay, y'all, I definitely like this about you. Like, <laughs> it seems like you got some, you got some, some spiciness here. And I'm not mad. I'm not mad because if something's not for you, why would you play with it? Like, you know what I'm saying? If something's not for you, why would you entertain it? Like, I really like that about y'all because it's like, it's not to say that you can't be in relationships, but it's like, if it's not the right thing for you, you're going to cut it off. Like, I like this about you because it means that you have a certain amount of self-love and self-worth in which you know what you're willing to accept and what you're not because it's a representative of you and i also feel like because y'all are so smart and intelligent it's like why do i have to it's nothing wrong with being in your emotional heart space it's nothing wrong with that i think yes you should be there but sometimes i feel like in life with the relationships we do have to nip it in the bud and look at what is going on factually and i think that that's something that you do like because you don't ever want to be in a position to where you are aimlessly giving or like I kept saying inappropriately giving to connections that don't serve you you know connections that aren't as compassionate or aren't as empathetic with you like yeah connections where it's like it's no love here like you just it's just based off of what you can do for this person or what you can do for these people like so yeah, you got your attitude about you like you know what it is you know what you're willing to accept and it's like people know that's all i can say is people are gonna know that they've crossed you and people are gonna know like not trying to say that y'all are mean but i just feel like people know that's why i don't want to be one of these people like i wouldn't want to be one of these people i wouldn't want to be on the opposite end of this i would not want to I, I feel bad for these people because they know they know like they can't come back they can't deal with you like you just have a certain type of attitude about you that's not weak it's not weak, especially here with this Queen of Swords. Like, you're not, <laughs> you're not weak. That's not who you are. Like, you're not weak. You know what you deserve in life. Like, you know what's for you. Like, even being in this King of Swords, it's like, you're paying attention. You're observing. Like, I, I just feel like you've been underestimated where people feel like, you know, you might have been had for a little bit giving to connections that wasn't given back to you. You might have been had for a little bit, but it's not something that goes on long term. So that's all I'm saying. <laughs> they know when they're not dealing with you no more. That's all I that's all I'm telling you is they know. So if you keep leaning into this strength, like how are you going? How's it gonna make you feel? Like keep leaning into this power, like your cutoff game being strong, like What is it going to do? We have opportunity. Okay. 
I like that. That means that it's going to remove everything that's not for you and it's going to bring in something that's a little bit much more on your level. So you all are showing up as single right now. Um, you are. There's a lot of like solitude withdrawing yourself, especially if it's from a relationship or from a um from a community, even here with the tower card with the ten of swords, like yeah, so you must have really ended something. It's a breakup here. Um, so if you continue to keep cutting things off that aren't worthy of you, like I definitely like that because that means that you're only building yourself up to something that is worthy of you. It's not to say that you're being choosy, not to say that you're being picky. Um, but you definitely are choosing. <laughs> I was about to say, you're not being choosy. Like you are choosing. You you definitely are choosing. Like, and this is nice because you're you're not settling for less. So this is only gonna set you up for an opportunity in which is actually gonna benefit you, you know, and it's gonna require your time. And it's like you don't ever have to feel selfish or don't ever feel stingy. Like, don't ever feel bad if you had to let go of something that's not really worth you or take a step back. Um, you don't ever have to be because you're still showing up here in the Six of Pentacles energy. That's like a giving, receiving type of energy. You know, you could be a very supportive person, very loving person. Um, you seem to be very happy and very bright and optimistic. Like you just you you just don't accept less and you're gonna cut off what you're gonna cut off what's what's not for you. That's just what you are. Like that's what you're gonna do. So I, I definitely like this. It's setting you up for something that's a little bit more in alignment um with you know who you are, what you deserve, like yeah, y'all are very single and self-sufficient right now. Um, okay, so what is this power related to? This is the hidden, this is the the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. Um, this deck, I don't really use it that much, so I'm probably just going to shuffle it for a little bit and split the deck because it was kind of hard to get a card from here. so you all have the pathway the pathway here and it says direction purpose and change direction purpose and change so it seems like you all are actively transforming in your life right now um it seems like what you've done the fact that you don't really accept less or you've been removing things out of your life you're not afraid to let someone go let it go let a relationship go it's like it definitely sets you up for being able to take a new direction in your life and also a transformative year. It's like it makes me think about this one car that th that talks about the pathway and it's like just butterflies and transformation and change and evolution. So I definitely like that about you. Like, I think that you're just being set up for more. Um, it seems as though you all are... It's like getting to the light at the end of the tunnel. So if you felt like you've been just experiencing a lot of the same thing, like it's just the same people that come are coming into your life, the same types of relationships where you're being hurt, you're not being adequately given to or provided for, like, or appreciated, like there's no gratitude here. It's like, it seems as though you're finally getting to the end of it. So it's like, I understand you haven't really experienced from what I see here. It's like the best of connections, but it's only going to set you up to be able to receive and experience more of what you do want because you're actively rejecting things that aren't for you, that you don't, that you feel like are not attached to your highest good. You're doing that and you're not being afraid to do it. You're being very bold as you do it because it's like, you know, how, like I just, I don't know. It's like, you know how some people like, cause what I just heard was someone saying like, just being so, I saw someone just being so upset and just hearing them say like, oh, I'm going to die alone. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, you're not. 
Like, I don't know why I just heard that. Someone just being so anxious. Like, if I let this go, you know, and it's just like, you boldly let stuff go. You boldly walk away from things, you know? So you don't ever have to think that I'm doing all this. I'm being choosy just for what? It's like, you're going to receive what you want. It's like the light at the end of the the tunnel or the light at the end of the path. It's like, you're going to find success, you know? Um, by literally, even if you don't know what you want, it's like just knowing what you're not willing to accept, like that's enough, honestly. Like that's enough. So yeah, this is amazing. I really do feel like your situation is going to transform. I don't think you're going to keep going through the same cycles when it comes to the types of relationships that you have. It's like meeting the same person, dealing with the same stuff. It's like I don't think you will anymore because you're not afraid to walk away. Um, you're not always holding on to these things, which is which is good. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here, y'all, because I don't want to over explain. I don't want to repeat things. I definitely hope that you all enjoyed this reading. Um, like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. All right, my pile three people, if you chose the Muse Tarot with the Clear Crystal Quartz Yield, I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading. But first and foremost, I definitely want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, I definitely want to give you all a special welcome back. Shout out to all of my lovely subscribers. I'm so thankful for y'all. I'm grateful. I, like y'all just I don't know, y'all just roar my heart because it's like when I put out these readings, I just be like, all right, I'm putting these readings out. Like, I'll just post a video and, and we'll see, like, you know, but the fact that you all really tune in, you show me a lot of love and appreciation. It's like just a really amazing energy exchange. And I just look forward to being consistent, posting even more readings that are helpful as well as entertaining to you all that you actually really do enjoy to listen to. Um, and just looking forward to just remaining my authentic self. <laughs> it takes a lot to like get on here and to, you know, do these readings and then, you know, have to maintain who you are, like in your personality. So I'm definitely just happy that I have this space to where I could do so, but also the fact that you all are engaging, you're tapping in and you enjoy it. So that's just amazing, like all around. So I thank y'all. I look forward to being able to do more for y'all and just being able to expand this channel. So I appreciate it. There, there's my heart that I'm giving y'all. Okay, I'm sending y'all my love. <laughs> so if you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that button. Join the fan today because I promise you will love it. And um, also make sure y'all check out the links in the description box as well i have links there to book a personal reading you can donate to this channel if you would like to it's multiple ways that you can donate but for your convenience i have enabled the super thanks button directly beneath this video if you would like to donate through this platform you can also check me out on instagram if you're active over there if not don't worry about it and you can also check my check out my etsy store where i post my line of 3d and hand painted gel press on nails so get into it y'all get into it click around get nosy but for now pile three we're asking spirit like what is powerful about you or what are the powerful aspects about your about your energy like you know so we're tapping into the power that is within you and we're talking about it um but yeah yeah let's go ahead and get started <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is there anything else I have to say? But I'm like, nah, let's let's go ahead and get started, y'all. Like, pile three. Ooh, we got the Knights of Wands. Okay. Okay. All right, so we producing movement. All right, so we got some movement in our lives. Okay, we got the five of swords. Okay, <laughs> what I just heard was winner, 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 chicken dinner. I don't know where that came from, sorry. I'm sorry. 
winner winner we have the seven of cups we have the page of swords yeah what i keep hearing is like you're a big stepper you're a big stepper like i think that your confidence your motivation um how driven you are it causes people to feel it causes people to not like you like it causes them to not like you or it causes them to be in some type of conflict or competition with you it seemed like I don't know. I just see people shaking their head when they look at you like they just they um okay so it's more so other people being in competition with you okay how you moving right now it causes conflict with other people but is competition with you. I keep hearing I got enemies, got a lot of enemies. Like, what I heard is Energy by Drake. Energy by Drake. It's a song that Drake came out with like some years ago. It's called Energy. And that's what he says. I got enemies, got a lot of enemies. Now I got to go to the lyrics for y'all. But this is, this is y'all energy right now. A lot of people want to make themselves like an adversary to you. Like they want to compete with you. I'm going to get into why. But that's the, that's the feeling that I picked up. He said, I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy. They trying to take the wave. So you must be riding the wave right now creating waves in your life. Like people trying to mess up your vibe and where you are right now. I also heard B don't B don't kill my vibe. B don't B don't kill my vibe. <laughs> By Kendrick, B don't kill my vibe. That song too could definitely apply to y'all. It seems like you're up right now. That's why I'm like winner, winner. It seems like you're up. And the crazy thing about it is you're just in a place in your life right now where it's like you could be trying new things. You could be very energetic right now, um, especially about things that you are passionate about. It's your passion and your drive right now that's very powerful. It's your passion and your drive. Yeah, even with the page of, yeah, we have the page of inspirations. That's the page of wands. You're exploring new things, like exploring new territories, trying new things. And then here as well, when I said winner, winner, and I'm like, that's just how you, it seemed like you are right now. And then we have the six of wands. So it's a lot of attention going your way. It seems like you must be creating waves in your life right now. And that's very powerful. It's like an unstoppable energy to get things done. Um, you all could be focusing on multiple different things right now. So you have like an illimitable strength right now that's very powerful in your life. Like, so I guess wherever you want to direct that energy to and that momentum is like, you'll really be making changes. I just feel like you're giving yourself the time to explore, to create, to try new things. You're learning new things. You're very inexperienced in some of these things as well, but it doesn't matter. So that could be something that, you know, definitely will make people mad or make them want to compete with you or why they be shaking their head. They feel like you have an unfair advantage right now, but I just think there's a lot of, like, it's like substance that you have. Like, it's a lot of, like, I don't know, raw substance. Like, you can make something out of anything like it's kind of like having the Midas touch it's like not even being experienced in something but you put forth the effort and now it's moving you know now things are moving but yeah here we go with the 
with the five of wands right here. So you could be causing a lot of upsets. You could be causing causing some drama. So it hit, here's another aspect of even more competition. Like maybe it's your drive right now, the energy that you have, like is causing other people to feel some type of way. I don't think that y'all really care about competing with other people. That's the crazy thing about it. I don't think you really care about being in competition, but it's other people in competition with you because you are like, you just have, it's like what's powerful about you is like your endurance. You just have energy right now to get stuff done. Like you have energy to do. Like, I guess I'm just telling you, like, I don't like whatever it is that you want. It's like, just go after it and do it. Like, because it seems like you're going to be successful at it. You're going to get a lot of attention and validation. Like your your mag it's like your magnetism is like that's something that's been coming up as well. It's like your magnetism being at an all-time high. Like it's at a high right now, so I guess just like capitalize off of that energy. Like capitalize off of it even if you feeling like, "Oh, I'm feeling tired" or if you don't feel like you're good enough or If you don't, if you feel like this is not what you want in life, like, I don't know, like, you just, if you don't know what you want, I just would feel like put yourself in, you know, just put yourself in a seven of cups energy of like, okay, I'm just going to give myself the time to imagine and think about the possibilities of what I could want. But even with this being backed up by the eight of pentacles, it's like your dreams are not just going to stay in this fantasy realm. It's like your dreams can be materialized into actual, this is really what's going on. Like, you know, I think this message also came up in pile one as well, but it's not the same message, but it's just basically letting you know that you can do anything. Like, that's what's powerful about you like you have the endurance and the energy so where are you directing it you know what i'm saying saying like where are you directing this but it's the fact that you can direct it anywhere that i feel like make people feel some type of way they feel upset it's like even looking at this car here it's like other people could be in competition with you but you're literally just in competition with yourself you're thinking about what's next for me and there's multiple like it's multiple doorways, it's multiple paths. Like what can what can I focus on? What do I feel like focusing on? So yeah. Um what do you want to create? Like, what do you want to create? Like your results may come off as they're slow, but you're just in a point in life right now where you have the ability to be consistent. You have the ability to be focused, like you are determined, like, that's probably why people are mad. And it's like, anything that you touch, it don't matter. It don't matter what it is. Anything that you touch, anything that you dream about, like, it's it has no other option but to be manifested. Like, that's why they probably just really mad. Like, I just keep hearing upset, like... It is, it's the biggest upset, like, it's the biggest upset. But yeah, we have the, the Ace of Wands, like, your passion is powerful. Like, your passion is powerful. Like, I if you haven't made up your mind, I would say make up your mind. Like, make up your mind and what you want. Like, make up your mind. But if you all are very much, like, you know what's going on with you. You resonated with this. It's like you understand that you have a creative flow right now. You understand that things are working out for you right now. It's like, that's good. I think you should definitely bask in that power and knowing that, yo, you got, I got, like, just bask in that power. Like, I got the Midas touch. Like, anything I touch, it, it, it becomes a thing, okay? Anything I touch becomes a thing, like, and like I said, I don't think you're trying to compete with others. I just think this is a, that's one of those like byproducts of, of you being in this energy that you're in right now. So even if people thought they was competing, they're going to lose. They're going to lose because you're only in competition with yourself. Like you're not interested in the things that other people are doing. You're more so interested in what you have going on, which is really cool. 
Um, but yeah, this is new, new creative ideas, new ventures, like just new things. You're just trying just for the sake of trying. Like, I don't know if you're someone that's like really concerned with the outcome of things. You know, like you are concerned with your own happiness, like, of course, but I don't I don't think you're concerned with like, oh, what if I lose or what if this fails or what if, you know, just the what ifs, just the what ifs, like, I don't think that's something that you're really um, concerned about. And I feel bad for these individuals that may, you know, that they want to compete with you. I feel bad because. I feel like you could help them. Like I don't think you're an arrogant or conceited person. I just feel like things work out for you. Like I just think that your own sheer will <laughs> and your own passion is what pushes things forward for you. It forces you to try. I feel like your endurance, your ability to keep going, like that that's amazing. That's powerful. I don't think you're afraid of like confrontation. You're not afraid, but I just don't see that you care too much about that or conflict. I don't think you're afraid of conflict. I just feel like, <laughs> you know, okay, if I have to deal with this, I'm gonna deal with it, but I'm not gonna lose. Like you put me in a conflict or competition type of setting, I'm not gonna lose, but yeah, you could have some. It's just coming off as other people trying to compete with you. Like, it's some hating. It's just some hating type of energy, really. It's some hating type of energy. Then we have the, the Nine of Cups here as well. I just feel like you're realizing your own potential and, like, that things can completely work out for you and that you can create the type of life that you want. That's powerful. I feel like you, you can be, it's okay for you to be in this seven of cups energy because you're going to get to work. Okay. Things are going to get done. Like, you know how sometimes people stay in a, this in a elusive, like, I guess it's an elusive space or they stay in fantasy and it's like something has to be made real at some point or another. Like, But yeah, you just give your space, you give yourself the time to do like, and you're energetic, you're, what I heard was enthusiastic, you, you just got endurance, like you can last, you can outlast. And that's probably why you don't care about getting into conflict and competition with other people, because you know, you can outlast them. <laughs> you can outlast them. That's probably why they be shaking their head because you can outlast them. <laughs> y'all. Y'all, I'm cracking up. Like, that's what it seemed like. That you can outlast these people. I don't know. It's like, you probably don't have to go through as many steps. It's like, you're being fast-tracked. Like, regardless of your experience, it's like, you're always being fast-tracked bypassing some stuff that maybe others have to work through that's probably why they be shaking their head thinking like oh you didn't do enough or you didn't have to do enough but it's like okay but you have the passion to outlast and you have the passion to succeed and the passion to you know make your life what you want it to be so that's not anything to be celebrated you know what I'm saying you have the consistency and the effort that's not nothing to be celebrated like so I don't know. Sometimes people feel like you have to struggle or go through so much. You have to go through the same things they went through or jump through the same hoops that they went through. And it's like, what if your life is just going in a different direction? You know? What if you don't have to do that? That's just how I feel. But yeah, you're very, you're ambitious. You're definitely very brave. Um... You're very energetic right now. Um, you just, 
it's just it's just like you have you have the world in your hands it's like the world is your oyster pretty much it's like whatever you want to create you can because you have the endurance you can outlast it you can do what you have to do you have the passion you have the drive to get it done like that's very strong right now it's very powerful it's very powerful then I saw the Queen of Pentacles as well. So this could definitely have to do to your do with your material world right now. Maybe this is why others are competing with you. These could be people competing with you at work. Um, <laughs> y'all don't care about your ops. That's why I just heard it was like, <laughs> I don't care about my ops. You don't care about your ops. <laughs> you don't care. Like, and it would actually, it's kind of sad that it is people opposing you because you would probably help them. Being in the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles energy, you probably would really help them, like, and show up for them. But now they've presented themselves to be an op, so they can't. And they're also here with the star. Like, that can definitely relate to this Six of, uh, this Six of Wands card right here, which would explain your magnetism. It would explain your attention and also the fact that you're a winner. You're a winner. You're a winner because you're a star. Like, <laughs> y'all. No, really. I'm being serious because I'm just like, why is there so much jealousy and competition coming from where? I don't know. It's just what I just heard was get like me. It's like not even being egotistical, but it's like. They can either get like you and join you or they'll have to continue to be an op because you're you have the endurance, you have the power. There's some type of limitless energy that's behind you right now that's really pushing you to move forward and you're not really afraid. Like it seems like you just have maybe you have more resources um right now, you know, more like you can do more. Maybe that's something, what I heard was unfair advantage. They feel like you have some type of unfair advantage, but hey. <laughs> I feel like what it is, is you just got to play the, play the cards that you're dealt. So if this is where you at right now and you're up, just keep the momentum going. That's all I'm going to say. So... Keep the momentum going but how do others perceive how do others perceive this um energy victory yeah like that's why i'm like thank you spirit for just confirming because i'm just like y'all are winners like this is powerful maybe you have like a winning attitude but it's just like a certain type of endurance and power that you have that will just see things through so even if you feel like you're dealing with something right now and you haven't yet gotten to the pinnacle of what it was or experienced that success is like you already are a success so it's really only a matter of time if you continue to remain consistent that you're gonna receive um the fruits of your labor now we also have cornucopia yeah that's probably why they mad but they do look at you as a blessed person like there's a lot going on for you um and that's you know <laughs> Hey, maybe you don't lean into the fact that other people are competing with you or maybe you don't, you never really thought like, oh, I have haters right now. Like, who me? Like, I have haters. It's like, yeah, I have to confirm that you do. I have to confirm that you do, that there are people that are, they, it's like they want to be your adversary, but it's like, can they really keep up? Because it seems like you can outlast them, but yeah. Other people, how they perceive this power right now is they perceive it as you're being victorious, that you're winning, and that you're also blessed. You have a lot going on. You have a lot of good things going on in your life right now for you. Even if you don't believe it, this is how other people perceive your attitude right now or just this unlimitable energy that is within you. Unlimitable. <laughs> so let's see. Um, let's get y'all something from the Hip Hop Queens as far as like another characteristic that relates to your power yeah we have ambition so this ambitious card came back up so it's like you want a lot of good things out of life like you want a lot of good things and you're willing to 
you're willing to take things to the end. Like that's what you're willing to do. You don't you don't really care about being stopped by anything. It's like, yeah, you are being tenacious, but I feel like tenacious has to do with, with the walk. I just think within you and yourself, where you are right now, it's like, yeah, tenacious, being tenacious has to do with trial and error. I just feel like you, you see a lot for yourself right now. You know, you might think that you deserve a lot, that you want a lot. Um, but yeah, this is probably why people mad. Because I don't know, people might think that you're getting ahead of yourself, but you have mad energy here like and you're willing to actually explore and try new things like so i don't know maybe that's something that makes people mad like that's that's what makes them that's what makes them hate like so i don't know it's just like every small step that you take moving forward is like it works just every small step that you take and i think that that's something that you all are doing it's like you're just leaning into the ideas and trying to make something happen trying to make something work like i don't even think you're at like the point in which you really really truly want to be in life but you're like taking the steps to get there and that could be what is intimidating to others Yeah, I just think you're taking things little by little in stride. Like this could be a new place that you're that you're that you're at in life right now. You know, just with a lot of the inexperienced energy here, it's like this is a new place that you're at. So it's like you're just getting comfortable, is what it seems like. You're just getting comfortable, but other people perceive that you have it all together. You know, they they perceive it. It's just like one of those, it's just like how people can see where you are, where you're going to be, like even if you can't see it. It's like someone saying, oh, by this time next year, this person, they're going to be taking off like that type of thing, even if you can't see it. So that could be the case. But yeah, there's definitely people competing with you. They need to just let you be you, you know? let you be you because it's not like you're even concerned but okay so as far as within this power if you continue to keep leaning into this illimitable energy and endurance that you have right now like this winning attitude like leaning into this magnetism right now like as you move forward and try new things in your life invite new things in your life like what is it going to um do for you so we have flow that's nice i guess it's gonna help like things in your life flow a lot easier um even flow a lot better a lot much more calm and peaceful maybe it's like when you don't put yourself out there or you don't try to achieve it's like maybe life is a little like what i heard was drab and i don't even use that word <laughs> Like life is a bit uneventful. It might be a bit boring for you, but it's like when you actually do put forth the effort and you're, you know, being expansive with your energy. So not trying to like constrict it anymore. It's like you just, <laughs> what I just heard is like, it's like living, I heard it. It's like living life. I don't know. I literally just heard it. It's just being more expansive, like living life bigger than ever, something like that. It was like, that's something like that, that I heard, but I missed it. But yeah, for the most part, um, I guess like when your life is more expansive, it flows a lot easier as opposed to things being constricted. Like when things are constricted, you might feel a bit bored with like your life circumstances. I feel like maybe things feel like they move a lot easier for you when you're like working on something or you're working towards something. You're being consistent with something. It's like, it feels a lot better to you. It feels like maybe you're getting things done and you're accomplishing things. That's how it feels, it seems. So yeah, it seems like 
you know, keep leaning into this and it, your your life is going to flow in a, in a more peaceful and serene uh, <laughs> direction as opposed to be so chaotic. Maybe it is you know yourself and you know your energy. You know your energy could be here or there. You know it could be all over the place. But like you can focus it in and hone in on one thing and maybe that helps as well. Yeah, it's just what basically what I'm saying is, is like when you're not on the up and up, it's like you, it just don't feel life just don't feel right to you. Like, so you got to create waves in your life. You know, you got to create waves, get stuff moving like so it could flow a lot easier. But OK, so let's get y'all um, a card from the hidden. This deck is the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. To see like what this power relates to. What does this power relate to? Oh, we got a card. We got a card, y'all. I've had to break this deck. But I just think it's within me. I had to split the deck rather <laughs> to get a card. Um, Because these cards are still, you know, they smooth. And... But we got a card, y'all. We have one. And this power relates to the gift, present, honoring, and also offering the gift. That's what this, that's what your, your power, how powerful you are. This is this powerful aspect about you. This is literally what it relates to. And I like this. I like this for y'all because it's like giving yourself, in a sense, it's like, you being this way has it's like it sets it sets you up to be like the person that is supposed to receive like this cornucopia or it's like receive these victories you know it's like seeing yourself as more than because you do you do and this is probably why some people are mad too because it's like you put yourself on a pedestal like you have a winning attitude and a winning spirit and when you try things you just try things purely because you're giving yourself the permission to do so which is nice so it's like you're setting yourself up and you're creating you're creating yourself to be this person that receives these gifts and these presents and these new things because you you see yourself as more you're not allowing yourself to be held back. You're just allowing your energy to expand, which is really nice. I just feel like you're you're the best. I feel like this message came up as well. It's like you're the best person for the job. So like if spirit wants to bring something into your life or the divine or the universe wants to give you something, it's like they're not going to hesitate and think twice because you're the best person for for this present you're the best person for this you're gonna do something with it you know because you have this energy so it's like you can you're gonna do something with it i don't know if y'all understand what i'm saying but this is nice i feel like you're giving yourself you know what you've never had i feel like this is a new place that you're at in life like it's like you getting a second wind a second wind like especially if you've been feeling really down and and out previously or feeling very lazy or unmotivated or just bored and having an apathy towards life maybe even had taken taken for granted some opportunities and things that you've received like before it's like no that's not holding you back <laughs> you know it's not holding you back it's like today is a new day that's just what i keep hearing like today is a new day that's why I'm just like, it seems like this is a new, newer energy that you've been in where it's like, you're being consistent. Things are moving. Like, but I definitely, I definitely love this type of energy for you. Like, I definitely do because I feel like, what can you not do? It's really up to you and what you want to create. Like, you know, what can you not do? <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like this is a amazing gift from spirit for you. That's just how I feel. Like it's just an amazing gift. Like I'm just I'm definitely excited to see the things that you create because it seems like you all will be 
you know, experiencing success, especially materially. And it's like experiencing success in things that actually really personally make you happy, like, which is nice. So it seems like you're just giving yourself the chance. You're giving yourself the opportunity. Like, and I like that for you because you didn't give up. But all right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here so I'm not repeating things. I definitely hope that you all um, appreciated this reading. I hope it made sense for you. Um, definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Be blessed, fam.